Morning, all. All right, so we're going to talk today about Marty Turco, his career. Uh, drafted 124th overall in 1994 by the Dallas Stars. Uh, Turco had a, a good, solid career, but he had to wait his turn. So Ed Belfour, the goaltender, of course, that helps them win the Stanley Cup in 1999. And goaltending in Dallas was pretty good throughout the mid-late 90s and into the early 2000s. Turco inserts himself into the conversation in 2000-2001. He'd waited his turn and he'd been patient about it. So in 26 games, he has a record of 13-6-1, and, and he leads the league in safe percentage with a 925 safe percentage. His second year in the league, 0102, plays 31 games, a record of 15-6-2, 921 safe percentage, which is fourth overall in the National Hockey League. So as a backup, he's done quite well. And of course, with backups, you're going to have the argument over whether or not the goaltender is playing against top-notch uh, teams or or if he's being saved and played against only certain teams you know the argument well look who he played against look at his numbers uh so 0203 he finally gets a chance at being the starter in 55 games he has 31 wins which is 10th overall to go with 10 losses 10 ties uh 932 save percentage which is first overall in the nhl so two of his first three years in the nhl he leads the league in save percentage then in the playoffs, he had a decent run. In 12 games, a 6-6 six and six record, 919 save percentage. He's a second-team All-Star, and he's second in Vesna voting. So the voters, uh, big fans of his game, and here we go. 0506, the year after, or 0304. Sorry, I can't, can't get ahead of myself. 0304. This is a season where it felt like Dallas overplayed him. Plays 73 games, which is the second most in the NHL. 37 wins, which is second overall in the NHL to go with 21 losses and 13 ties. 913 save percentage. And then in the playoffs, this is where I think him being tired shows up. In five games, he has a 1 and 4 record with an 849 save percentage. He was fourth in Vesna voting, he was eighth in Hart voting. So people understanding that Marty Turco has kind of got the team on his back a little bit here. And then in the playoffs, it doesn't work out. So the narrative with Marty Turco was very often, well, he couldn't win in the playoffs. Yeah, um, it, it, to me, that's a little shaky, and we'll go through it. So 5 6 he plays 68 games, which was fourth overall in the NHL that year. Gets 41 wins, which is third overall. 19 losses and five overtime or shootout losses. 898 save percentage. In five playoff games, he goes 1-4 and four again with an 868 save percentage. He's fifth in Vesna voting. So he is still getting consideration for the Vesna with a safe percentage below 900. And that's remarkable. And it shows that he's he's not seen as being the problem in Dallas. But again, everybody starts talking about, you can't win with them in the playoffs. Turco can't win in the playoffs. Well, 6 7 he plays 67 games, which is eighth overall in the NHL. 38 wins, which is sixth overall. To go with 20 losses and five overtime or shootout losses. 9-10 save percentage in seven playoff games. What a remarkable series between Turco and, and Luongo. Three and four is his record, but a 952 save percentage. And this was a year that I remember when Vancouver beat Dallas and I saw, well, yeah, you can't win with Turco. And that's that's Marty Turco for you all over. He had a 952. The only thing that Turco was missing was having a player stick in his other hand, skating down the ice and trying to score the goals that Dallas couldn't because Luongo was just as good. So it had to be frustrating for Turco to have an absolutely amazing series against Vancouver, only to have it washed away by a better series at the other end of the ice by Luongo. It was a, it was a fun series to watch, I say that as a Dallas and Vancouver fan. Uh, it did go seven games. There was a long overtime game as well in there. And it was a fun series. So 2007-2008, he plays 62 games, a record of 32-21-6, and 6, 909 save percentage. And then in the playoffs, he comes through. In 18 games, he's 10-8 and 8 with a 922 save percentage. So the argument that while well, Turco can't win in the playoffs, uh, he won three series over a time of, of five, five seasons. Five seasons he won three series as the starting goaltender for Dallas, which I understand to some that may not be very good, but there are some teams that don't win three series in five years. I, I really think that a lot was made of the two poor appearances in 2004 and 2006, and it overshadowed the other three playoffs where he played quite well. So 0809, 
Uh, they go back to overworking him. 74 games, which is second overall. 33 wins, which is ninth. 31 regulation losses, which is first. And 10 overtime or shootout losses to go with his 898 save percentage. So, yeah, and this is part of the problem, too, is that he's now 15 years out from his draft year. So even though his career has been short to this point, and you wouldn't think, well, at this point, they're, they're, they're not going to look to move on. He was getting older, even by goaltending standards. And so his final season with Dallas is actually 2009-2010. In 53 games, he has a record of 22, 20, and 11, and a 913 save percentage. And he ends up going to the free agent market. And it's interesting, too, because it's not that he played badly in 2009-2010. You could just tell that his best days were likely behind him at that point. So August 2nd of 2010, he signs with the defending Stanley Cup champion, Chicago Blackhawks. So they bring him in to be the backup. In 27 games, he has a record of 11, 11 and 3, and an 897 save percentage. Now, of course, Chicago, in that year's playoffs, they ended up losing in the first round against Vancouver, and he didn't get into any action for that. So Marty Turco, uh, probably disappointed with how that season ended up, barely misses out. So 2011-2012, he signs with the Boston Bruins, and so he's signing with them after they've won a Stanley Cup. In five games, he had a record of 2-2 two and two with an 855 save percentage. The numbers aren't great. I'm not going to pretend they are. But I, I really I had to commend him because what happened is March 5th, he signs as a free agent with Boston. That's after the trade deadline. So how does that work? How do you sign a player after the trade deadline? Well, you got to put him on waivers. So he had to clear waivers, which he did. There weren't any, any teams in the league that were in the emergency situation Boston was. They didn't have a goalie. And so they signed Turco. Uh, just for that brief period until a goalie came back. So while the 855 save percentage is not great, the fact he went 2-2, two and two, I was quite proud of him. And that would actually round out the end of his career there. So he ends up playing 543 games in the NHL, which is 66th all-time among goaltenders. 275 losses, which is 49th. Uh, or 275 wins, which is 49th. 167 losses, which is 95th. That sounds better. And 66 ties, shootouts, overtime losses. 9-10 save percentage over his career. And then in the playoffs, in 47 games, he's 21-26 and 26 with the 9-14 save percentage. So the narrative that Turco was bad in the playoffs, I really think comes out of those two years that he had a rough time of it. And then people kind of ignored the rest of it. Because I've still seen that argument uh, recently. That, well, yeah, Turco, though, come playoff time, you just couldn't rely on him. And that simply was not the case. Um, I, I really thought that Dallas was was a team that had some some issues that he covered up with his goaltending. And sadly, because of the fact that it took him six years to get into the NHL via the amount of depth that Dallas had in their goaltending position, uh, you know, his career didn't end up being as long as other goaltender goaltending careers tend to be. But still, solid career for him. Enjoy doing a video about them. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.